Twister. You are travelers who have been all around the world and whose anecdotes are somewhat mixed up. You will have to recompose accurately, in the right direction and in the right order, the images of your travel diary in order to be the first player to have reconstructed the puzzle of his memories. The game takes place in several rounds consisting of three stages. Step A, preparations. Step B, the reaction. Step C, the reconstruction. Step A, preparations. First distribute a souvenir photo to each player and position it in front of you. Mix and rotate the puzzle tiles corresponding to the souvenir photo in all directions while being careful not to flip them from front to back. Assemble them to make a square of 3x3. Three three. Then cover this square with your souvenir photo. Each player then takes the place of his neighbor on the right and retrieves the 10 action cards of his color and the corresponding frame. Step B, the reaction. This step is played entirely simultaneously. All players raise their souvenir photo and move it close to their puzzle. Be careful not to move or change the direction of the pieces of your puzzle. Then place your action cards in the programming frame in place of the puzzle tile you want to move. Indeed, it is thanks to your action cards that you will be able to reconstruct your puzzle. There are three types of action cards, green, blue and red. The green ones allow to turn a tile without moving it, either a quarter turn in the direction of the arrow or 180 degrees. The blue ones allow to move tiles. On your action card, the brown square always indicates the tile from which the action starts. Pay attention to the direction of the arrow. For example, the selected tile is moved to the other end of its line or column, actually pushing the two other tiles of its line or its column. Red cards are a bit special. Indeed, they are playable only once per game and are not cumulative on the same turn of play. This card, it allows you to place the designated tile immediately in the right place, but also in the right direction. The permuted tile has just replaced the displaced tile. For this card, as for the previous one, the designated tile immediately in the right place. Attention, no rotational movement is allowed. So after raising your souvenir photo, wisely and tactically place your action cards in the programming frame. Place your card in the exact location of the tile you wish to move, respecting the square of 3x3. Three three. Indeed, a card placed between two zones will not be validated during the reconstruction. Be careful to direct well the arrows of your card. As soon as a player thinks he has optimized the use of his action cards, he immediately recovers his composition with his souvenir photo and then returns the send timer. Obviously, from this moment, he cannot, in any case, modify his action cards or watch his puzzle. On the other hand, he can control the send timer. Once the send timer has elapsed, all players immediately recover their puzzle and can no longer modify action cards. Important, it is not necessary to fully complete its programming frame to complete the phase. It is quite possible to finish the phase with no cards or with all of them. Step C, the reconstruction. The player who has returned the sand timer begins rebuilding. First, he reveals his puzzle and then starting from the square at the top left and following the traditional reading direction, that is to say, from left to right and from top to bottom, he will act each action on one or more of the corresponding puzzle tiles. As soon as the programming area has been scanned, the puzzle is immediately covered with the souvenir photo. It is up to the next player in the clockwise direction to start his reconstruction phase. FYI, the programming area may contain holes, so some tiles may not be impacted by any action cards. In this case, no movement is made from it. Attention. In no case, the effect of an action card can be cancelled. Important. If an action card is not correctly positioned and its action cannot be applied, this action has no effect, but it still counts as a card used. For example, the two action cards have no effect because they have the tiles of the puzzle uh. out. As soon as each player has completed its reconstruction phase, two possible cases may arise. No one has yet been able to finalize their puzzle, in which case a new round starts. Each player gets all his action cards in hand, except the red card, which is permanently discarded. Then start again at the beginning of step two, the reaction. Either one or several players have reconstructed their puzzle identically to their souvenir photo. 
in this case, go directly to the end of the trip. If only one player has reconstructed his puzzle, then he wins the game. If multiple players manage to piece together their puzzle in the same round, then the one with the most red cards in their hand wins. In case of a tie, it is the one who used the least action cards during the last round. And if the tie persists, it is the player who returned the sand timer during the last round who wins the game. It was the video rule for Globe Twister. Thanks and good game.